The second area, which is cloud computing, which I think stands, spans across all this, is digitizing of information. There's lots of analog information that's out there. We've got to turn this into digital information, and we've got to process it in new ways. So turning all of this stuff, and I'll talk a bit about this in a few minutes, around taking disconnected data and adding it together. This next issue, actually, I think is probably one of the least understood and most underestimated issues in the battle against climate issues and environmental degradation around the world. It is too hard. If we think that we're going to change society, like you're an interesting subsection of a very small group of people who are super passionate about the subject. The fact that you chose to take two days out of your schedule to come here to listen to a bunch of people talk about the problem and to meet other people means you're really interested in the problem and you really want to solve it. And so you're probably likely to do things like take two days out of your life to go address this issue and think about it really hard. But with 6.7 billion people on the planet, many of whom are just trying to survive, if we don't actually embed this into the way society works and the fabric of our ecosystems, we will not succeed. And part of what that means is actually making it invisible. It's the intuitive natural user interface. How many people here used to do a lot of programming of their VCRs? Wow, that's a lot. Um, how many people use like a TiVo or digital TV or HDTV programming and Hulu and all that, right? It's way easier. You point, you click, you sit on the couch or you sit in your chair and off you go and you're off to the running, the races. That's because of the user interface. It's fundamentally very different and simple, right? Uh, we're doing a lot of work with Johnson Controls. I'll talk about this in a few minutes, which is you can actually run around and turn down thermostats and do all that stuff. I do that, right? But really what you want is you want it to happen automatically, right? You want it to be embedded so that when you walk out of the room, the temperature goes down, you walk in, it goes up, or vice versa. You know, the thing I always talk about it, why is it that my phone, which I carry, actually knows I'm standing on this stage? My office doesn't, and my house doesn't. It's kind of weird. So I'm heating three spaces today, my home, my office, and here, and then the hotel room I was just in, four spaces. Right? That needs to be invisible.